guys, welcome back. So yesterday I straightened my hair and today I curled it. Um, not sure how great the back looks because it's really hard to do the back of my head without burning myself, but I did my best. So now I decided I'm going to do a makeup tutorial. Um, this is going to be a Christmas themed makeup tutorial. I'm thinking about using silver and green because I think the last makeup tutorial that I did that was Christmas themed, maybe I did like silver, red, and green, so I kind of just, I'm thinking to match with this shirt because I really like this shirt, I'm thinking silver and green, so we're going to get into it, um, first we're going to start by priming my eyes with my LA Colors liquid makeup in the shade Buff, and then we'll start with the eyeshadow. start by taking our brush and cleaning it you can use a baby wipe you can use a makeup wipe I'm using a baby wipe you can use you know you can rinse it wash it with soap um, I know there are makeup brush shampoos I would just use regular soap to me but you can do this in any way that you would normally do this but clean your brush real good so that there's no excess color because nobody wants this when they're trying to do silver or white so get all that off and then um, let's see what's in this one yeah this is perfect we are going to take my diamond cosmetics which this was like the first palette that I actually used when I started doing makeup so this was like my everything back then and this is kind of how I learned to do makeup and I haven't used it in a while but I it has some really good colors and I feel like it has better cover uh, the, the words I feel like it has better colors in my um, Sephora palette sometimes. So I'm going to start off by taking, hold up, let me put this right down right here so that I can grab the camera because it's just so much easier that way. All right, so I'm going to be taking this color up here, which is like, let's see what it is. It's like a white, a silvery white. So we're gonna take that one up there. Yeah camera cooperate with me sorry okay so we're gonna take this color right here and we're going to put that all over our eyelid Talk about the plans you make and things we say when we're together. I hope for better weather this year. But you, my dear, need to know that this year I want you alone. Ho, ho, ho. So I don't want to go just from like, you know, silver to like green because that's not going to blend well or transition well. So I'm going to take this like silvery green right here and I'm going to put that in the middle of my eyelid and also bring it to the outer corner. And so this is going to go in the middle to the outer corner of my eyelid 
and then we'll do this on just the outer corner but we need a transition color so we're gonna take this one she makes me feel she makes me feel alive inside and when i look into her eyes i see blue and green like christmas lights like christmas lights a water side she says i've got a way of making everything okay she's not alone she's not alone and never will to take that darker green that I showed you guys. We're gonna take this one right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, and we are going to put that on our outer corner. And I also want to drag it down to uh, the outer corner of my lower lash line. So outer corner and then lower lash line. So I just want to clean this up a little bit because there is kind of eyeshadow all over the place but that's okay because you can clean it up with a baby wipe. I've seen people use a q-tip with like makeup remover. You can use just about anything. I'm used to my baby wipe so I'm going to use my baby wipe to clean this up just a little bit on the parts that I think need it. All alone, wishing I was home with you baby. She's got a way of making things okay. She's not around, when she's not around, I'm going crazy. We like to talk about the friends we make and things we say when we're together. Right, so now I am going to clean my brush again, and then I'm going to take that first silver color that we used um, all over the eyelid, and I'm going to take that same color and just put it on my lower lash line from like where the green ends to the front. Just a tip, don't use a big fluffy brush like this to do the lower lash line or any small spaces because it tends to kind of make a mess and it also can get in your eyes. You should probably use a brush like this, something that's more, you know, pointed and straight to do it because then it's going to be like more exact. But I always just tend to use the brush that I use for everything else. But as you guys seen, a little bit got in my eye there. That's why I cut. Um, so, you know, probably it would be better if I started using this. And if you guys use one like this too. Okay, she's not alone. She's not alone. Never will be. Because I was using the Diamond Cosmetics palette and that's something that I used to use when I first started doing makeup, I decided to use a mascara that I used when I first started doing makeup which is called Grow Luscious by Fabulous Mascara by Revlon. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes. I haven't used this mascara in forever. I remember it was my favorite but like I was running out so I didn't want to use it anymore. So let's see if I still love it now the way that I used to love it then.
it worked really well. Um, I do love my Mary Kay, but I feel like that's starting to like kind of clump. I don't know if it was doing that always or not, or if it's because it's getting kind of old, but it clumps. And this one doesn't really clump, but um, this eye, a bunch of my eyelashes are kind of bunched up together, so I really do think I need to curl my eyelashes. I've never curled my eyelashes, but I think I need to because they kind of like bunch up. So this eye is never as good as this eye. So probably going to attempt to curl my eyelashes at some point. Um, so this makeup tutorial is actually reminding me a lot of one that I did um, for prom. And it was like, uh, it was the same thing as this, like a white and green tutorial. So this is kind of reminding me of something that I've already did. Maybe a little bit more improved version because I feel like just from prom season to now, I know a little bit more about what I'm doing. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to keep it like it is or if I want to try something that I'm not good at, which is eyeliner. Um, I'm not good at eyeliner whatsoever. I do not have a steady hand, but I feel like I kind of want to set this apart from the other makeup tutorial a little bit and also try to do something that I'm not really good at and don't usually do. So what I think I might do just because I don't want to ruin this and have to com start completely over, is I think I'm going to finish with the lipstick and everything, show you guys what that looks like, and then try to do the eyeliner and see if I can make it work. And then if I can, at least I already have like pictures and everything of the way that this looks first. Um, if you're a good eye eyeliner, go for eyeliner. You can, you know, include eyeliner in any of my tutorials. I just am not good for it. I do not have a steady hand, which is why I don't do it. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to do my lipstick and then I guess we will try some eyeliner. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take the reddest lipstick or, well, lip gloss that I have. It is Mary Kay North Shine Plus Lip Gloss and the shade is Sparkleberry. Um, so I'm going to take this and do my lips with it because I think a red lip would be perfect for this. But I don't really have any red lipstick and this is the reddest thing that I have. So... We are going to do my lips. And we're home, 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 that we all come back. And as a matter of fact, I know we're exactly where we're supposed to be. I'm in a foreign state, I'm running late, I'm all alone Wishing I was home with you, baby She's got a way of making things okay When she's not around, when she's not around, I'm going crazy We like to talk about the plans we make and things we say when we're together I hope for better weather this year But you, my dear, need to know that this year I want you alone Okay, so now we are going to attempt to do my eyeliner with this e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. 
um, and it's in the shade black. Wish me luck. Like I said, I don't have a steady hand, so none of you guys judge me for how this comes out. We go together like the winter and the sweater, and she makes me feel. She makes me feel alive inside. And when I look into her eyes, I see blue and green like Christmas lights. Like Christmas lights, oh, what a sight. She says, I've got a way of making everything okay. She's Instead, I'm running, let them all alone. Wishing I was home with you, baby. She's got a way of making things okay when she's not around. When she's not around, I'm going crazy. We like to talk about the friends we make and things we say when we're together. I hope for better weather this year. But you, my dear, need to know that this year I want you alone. as it has been but it's definitely not like good and like video worthy um so i'm actually really glad that i did this after i took pictures and recorded everything um uh so yeah i'm gonna like try to get this off now i'm actually gonna use makeup remover because eyeliner tends to not want to rub off with just a baby wipe or anything so i have some makeup remover so i'm going to use that and try to get this off so yeah this is why i don't do eyeliner if anybody was wondering um if it works for you go for it but it does not work for me i can't figure it out but it has been worse so this actually isn't that bad but you know all right so it actually came off pretty easy um usually i have to scrub at my eyes for like 15 minutes until it comes off so i'm actually really surprised i kind of just like wiped over it poured some on the wipe and just wiped over it and it came off so i'm actually really glad that i didn't have to like scrub my eyes raw um this stuff is called mary Kay oil free eye makeup remover and i used it once when i did the body paint on my arm and my leg to kind of like if i went out the lines i could like clean it up and it actually really did work and i'm glad it worked on this too um so sorry i don't have the makeup on to end this video but 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe for more, and make sure you turn on notifications so you get notified every time we upload or live stream. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!